should have called this podcast The Laundromat because we air all our dirty laundry. Welcome to How Do We Human, the podcast where we talk about all the weird and uncomfortable micro moments in life. I'm one of your hosts, Chris Binning. And I'm Evan, one of those lost socks, Cox. <laughs> Oh, and today we're talking about laundry. We're talking about the laundromat. We are. Beep, 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 beep. We're going to talk about washing. We're going to talk about drying. But first. Mm. Doing the wash. Doing the wash. <clears throat> and I'd like Evan to give me your worst as I ask. How you doing? You know, I'm doing okay. I got. <sighs> because we took all that time off. I do have two how you doings and i'm trying to tell myself do i just throw one of these out as a hey that's a thing that happened and then tell a little story and trust that something will happen to me before next week (laughs) maybe i'll keep the other one i'm just afraid something really good would happen and then we've both had it happen before then it's just gone forever yeah or you or they pile up and you're it's it's too overwhelming too many things have happened Hmm. All right, I'll just tell one. Uh, but I'll tell this one. The other one is evergreen. <laughs> I can pretend that happened literally any day. <laughs> Actually, both of these are. Uh, nothing I say matters. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just here to report. Apparently, I've turned the corner as a bald-headed person because for the first time, I was mocked by a child for being bald. And not like a little kid going like, hi, you don't have any hair. It was like a, I'd guess I'm bad at ages. I'm going to guess like a 12 year old, a little boy who like locked eyes with me. I I think it was at like Target, some store, locked eyes with me and just like ran his (laughs) hand over his head. (laughs) I was like, holy shit. Cause I don't think, you know, that, like if I were bald in high school, like I'd lost my hair or, or just had shaved my head, people would probably make fun of me. But then yeah. you've got like, there's a long gap of time you'd like to think between high school and being like, I'm old. Because people, you know, who's making fun of the, the guy who shaves his head when he's 23? He's like, it's a style choice. Get off my ass. <laughs> right. Uh, so, I, yeah, I think I'm just this is it now <laughs> I've, I've turned the corner from being like oh that's a cool style choice to just like ha old <laughs> yeah interesting uh, I didn't like the way it made me feel that's no I guarantee it um, so uh, I gotta come up with some zingers to get these little kids you know, right I was gonna say what can up. you do th- what, what do you have that a child doesn't um, that you could use as like a well i might not have my hair but i do have this a job yeah anxiety (laughs) (laughs) so stop it (laughs) (laughs) i'll work on it that i don't know that that's the right route maybe uh at least i have a debit card and i can pay someone else to bully him and I yeah. don't have to come up with anything. Pay yeah, with okay. Little kids, fuck them up. Interesting. Feels honorable. Chris, yeah. <laughs> what you got going on? What you what you do? What you doing? What do we say? What you? How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> hey, uh, doing all right. Um, uh, you know, a couple weeks ago, my girlfriend and I went to Big Bear. Uh, I've mentioned that we got on a little boat and then we rode around on the little boat, little boat and big bear, little boat, big bear. Um, after that though, everybody, (laughs) everybody decided, (laughs) Hey, let's go to a brewery. And by everybody, I mean, everybody except for me, but, um, we went to this brewery and I'm not gonna pay for alcohol because i know i'm not gonna drink it all (laughs) (laughs) nice rhyme (laughs) thanks uh but i was thirsty Mm. so i got 
uh, I saw on the menu something that always sounds like it's going to be good. And then I have it and it's not very good. I'm talking mm. about a strawberry lemonade. Oh, interesting. Always sounds like it'll be refreshing. And then you have it and you're like, this is too much. Lemonade period is generally not remotely refreshing, which is weird because that's that's what people associate lemonade with. Like, oh, it's hot out. Let's have an ice cold lemonade. Uh, see, yeah, I don't know. I find it. I find it uh, refreshing. Uh, certain brands, maybe. Like well, when I go to I'm... the movie theater, I get lemonade and it, it feels so good. But you're also in air conditioning. It's not true. hot. True. <laughs> I think I think it just dehydrates me. But well, it is, said, it does dehydrate for sure. Yeah, it's not exactly. a good hydration uh, <laughs> tool. Not like beer. Um, uh huh. But when you said strawberry lemonade, that made me think of Del Taco's strawberry lemonade, which that I get every time I go to Del Taco, which is not as often anymore. Uh, but that I find very refreshing. Uh, so you yeah, know, I guess it is. It's depends what you're drinking. I'm sorry you had that uh, experience. I it, I expected it to come out in like a glass, you know, like <laughs> any other beverage. It comes out in like a glass bottle, like oh. almost like a Snapple bottle, kind of. Interesting. Um, and so you know, whatever. I un- unscrew the cap. I'm drinking it, and at one point, I accidentally knock the cap off the table. Oh no! It bounces a little bit. I go to reach for it, and another hand comes out and grabs oh. it instead. And uh, you know, it's just like thanks. And I put my hand out to receive the cap again. And this person goes to hand me the cap back, and then at the last second pulls it back away. Oh no! And I'm like, uh oh, this person's drunk. <laughs> and he's like, do you need this? And I was like, not really. <laughs> just like, <laughs> I was just picking it up because I dropped it. Uh, and without saying anything else, he backed away into the back, like back room of the brewery. And I never saw him again. <laughs> uh, that sounds like you ran into drunk me from 10 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> okay which was that's the only explanation i could come up with <laughs> yeah feels like a ghost yeah yeah oh that's trouble mm-hmm. uh, mm. you should yeah i don't know maybe you, you say you need it because now you can't close it and you weren't even enjoying it so you had to drink it all yeah mm, or leave it behind pressure. not fully consumed which is what i did Wow. I had almost all of it. There was, I left a little bit in there because I just I couldn't do it. Damn. Damn. Yeah. Also, we were seated. This is not really super relevant to the story, but we were seated like directly next to the live band that was performing. Oh, that's the worst. Yeah, I hate that. I hate that, too. Um, And the it was a, a man and a woman. And I don't know what their relation is to each other. Do they just like to play music together? Are they... uh, Banker and customer? Banker and customer (laughs) was my second guess as well. (laughs) Uh, (laughs) Are they married? Are they dating? Are they siblings? Are they uh, parent and child? Mm. Who knows? But they did exclusively covers, no originals, yeah, and every cover sounded exactly the same, <laughs> even if uh, you know they the songs, the original versions of those songs. Uh, no matter how different they sounded, they were getting uh, the down. same treatment. Ugh. Yeah, I'm a big like. I was obviously I'm a, I'm a big. Uh, I like to drink, and I also love music, but I don't like being. <laughs> forced <laughs> into like i i've gone to bar shows where there's a band playing at a bar and i know that and i paid a ticket and i'll go there and i'll drink and listen to the band 
I don't, I'm not a fan of just, yeah, cover band playing so loud. It's, I mean, it just kind of forces it into club territory where you're in there and it's just boom, boom, boom. And no one can hear each other talk. Yeah. Like, no, I came here to talk to my friends and drink. Exactly. Because they're more fun to talk to when they're drunk. <laughs> I don't have any <laughs> friends. <laughs> All my friends here don't drink. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. But I think Fine. we all do laundry. Yeah. I hope. I hope so too. I can say at least, you know, to put you at ease of your friends here, I will go on record and say that I do laundry. All right. Put it on the record. How often do you do laundry? Um that's a good question. <laughs> I didn't see this one coming. Oh, <laughs> uh, I would say laundry of some kind once a week. <laughs> what a mysterious answer! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you do money laundering every week. And if week, you right? can figure out what laundry I'm doing, <laughs> the clothes are yours. <laughs> no, I, I like. I do, I do. I don't um, separate my laundry. I know I should. I was going to ask if when it uh, comes to laundry, if you're pro segregation. <laughs> it's fucking expensive. <laughs> uh, so, no, I just wash them all, uh, the clothes in the cold water. Uh, so the cones yeah. don't run around. But like, yeah, no, I, I can't do that many loads of laundry, but I'll do uh, clothes or sheets and towels together. I do those in hot water. Kill all those nasties, the dust mites and shit. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so I'd have, yeah, in general, I'll do laundry of some sort once a week. Uh, I just, I do my clothes. It's, it's like every third time I have to do laundry that I'll run out, I'll be out of quarters and just have like a full week of just like, I guess I'm just going to keep re wearing <laughs> a few of these clothes for a while. <laughs> Because I can't, I'm not going anywhere to get quarters. It's hard when it's 100 degrees outside. Yeah. Yourself? I do laundry once a week. Oh. Um, and my girlfriend does her laundry, I think, every other week. So I don't know if she just like has a lot more clothes than I do. Yeah. And so it lasts longer. I don't know. I don't know how that works. But I'm the one that's usually doing laundry. You like it, laundry? Um, I don't know. I've never thought about it. I like laundry itself. <laughs> okay. <laughs> laundry being clothes being laundered. Sure. Uh, or just fabric of any kind. Uh, I'll have to tell my tale of taking my uh, comforter to the laundromat. Uh, but I hate everything... I hate the bridge to get to doing laundry, which when you live in a large city is quarters. Yeah. And there's just so many, there's so many things you can run out of. I got laundry detergent. I got quarters. I need both. Yes. Right. My, my building, it's $2 each load. So $2 to wash, $2 to dry. Ooh, that's rough. It's fucking brutal. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Ours is a dollar fifty to wash and a dollar twenty five to dry. That's pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, do you need quarters to like right now? <laughs> yeah. Well, um, <laughs> I do. I do need to go to the bank and get more quarters. Um, I. Uh, I had gone maybe a month or two ago and gotten like $40 worth of quarters. Smart. Lasted for a while. And then uh, maybe two or three weeks ago, we ran out. We were a single quarter short. Oh, no. Uh, the worst feeling. Ugh. Um, so we had to go to a laundromat. This is my first time ever going to hey. a 
public exciting. laundromat. Um, and uh, the reason we had to go was I asked my girlfriend because she was at work that day. I was like, hey, on your way home, could you pick up some quarters? And she was like, no. And I was like, what? <laughs> and it's because um, she's part of a credit union ah. instead of having a bank where she can just go and get quarters. Even you though just, the credit union has like partnerships with banks. You could also just uh, go into any bank and ask for quarters. Yeah. That's <laughs> what I thought too. Uh, but I didn't want to push I it. Uh, I, I, like, I don't have a bank within... 30 miles of me <laughs> so what because uh, I still have my uh, it's Umqua savings they, they started uh, popping up in never California. heard of that in my life uh, yeah they're they're Oregon and Washington based um, uh, and I don't know they've been good everyone complains about their bank so I'm like I've got a bank that I don't have any complaints about it I guess I should keep it forever <laughs> yeah I don't really have any complaints about my bank either I always my bank always processes uh the paychecks uh from work the fastest. Oh. Everybody else at work is like, oh, I gotta wait to, for the payment to go through until Suckers. Monday. Hey, I've already got that cash money. Gotta have cash. Uh Let's but see. anyway, I do still need to go get more quarters because we went to the laundromat. She like got cash back at Target or something. Um, and was like, we'll go do a load of laundry at the laundromat or we'll do all the loads of laundry at the laundromat. And then I'll get cash back because you have to use quarters at the laundromat. Mm -hmm. So I'll put this 20 in the thing. We'll get the, the money back. The leftover quarters will bring back to the apartment. And we put in the $20 bill and it spit it right back out. <laughs> We were like, we tried it again, spit it right back out, and we, uh, she had a five dollar bill, put that in, and it did give us quarters for that, but that was not going to be enough for oh, no. all our loads of laundry. Uh, I had three single dollar bills in okay. my wallet. One of them had the corner ripped off, so I was like, this one's probably not going to work. Sure enough, spit that one out. I tried the other two, spit out, spit out. None of only one of our bills was able to dispense quarters at this laundromat. Holy shit. And I was like, maybe that there's just not enough quarters in there to like give oh, hey. <laughs> back out. That's happened to me at a vending machine once. They like didn't ah. have money to give change back, no, so it would spit out that. your like bills. But the problem with that theory is every single other person who went to that machine to get quarters got them no problem. <laughs> it's a so it's thing. only our money. Your money's no good there. Uh, exactly. So we had to use, uh, there's an app you could download and yeah! pay through the app. Pay something. Uh, yeah, I already deleted it from my phone. You fool. I don't have any uh, intention range. on going back. Pay range. That's what it was. <laughs> I love pay range. I, uh, while I lived in Long Beach, which was just a little over a year, I think, maybe two years. I, I don't remember when I, cause I, whatever. <laughs> when I lived there, <laughs> that building's, that, oh, that building's uh, laundry room had like, I think 20 collective washers and dryers. So just a okay. massive room, like a laundromat's yeah. worth. And they all took pay range. So I never had to get quarters that whole time. I just kept putting money on the app. It's fucking awesome. Uh, big proponent. And uh, recently re-downloaded it and found that my account was still there. And I was like, yay! Because nice. I had to go to the laundromat. Uh, I, um, yeah, and I noticed while we were at the laundromat that uh, the washer and dryer that's here in our building, it's the same model as oh, the one at the laundromat. Sons of guns. So, like, why do we not have an app available to I don't pay for know. this uh, washer and dryer? Don't know what the charade is. Charade, if you will. I will. Like, it's, it's money. It's just money. 
are we through this? And I, how come washing machines can't take dollars either? It's yeah. only quarters. Other machines take dollars. Or a card. Or Apple Pay. There's so many ways. Bitcoin washing machines. <laughs> I would not. I would not wash my clothes there. I want to take my dirty clothes to the moon. Yeah, dirty laundry. Done with quarters. <laughs> <laughs> I did sound like that. I was going for the... Uh, who's that? Is it Don Henley? <laughs> People love it when you lose. He got dirty laundry. Oh, yeah. Pick up when they're up. Kick up when they're down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> But I like dirty deeds done dirt cheap, but with laundry. <laughs> dirty laundry. <laughs> done dirt cheap. I wish. Uh, I wish, yeah. All right, well, then I, if you've never, uh, that was your first time at a laundromat. Yeah. Uh, excited. I, I'll say I, I've been to laundromats a few times, uh, mostly because in this apartment, and once in Seattle, that happened too. The machines were down for like over a year. Uh, so I had to go. Fortunately, I have laundromats right down the street. Um, I forgot what I was about to ask you and why I started saying that. So I'm just going to start talking about myself. I'll, I will I'll say that we went to this laundromat oh. that was like uh, a ways from us. It was by where she used to live Ooh. because the laundromat that is in within walking distance of us closed due to a recent electrical fire. Ouch. And uh, so I thought it was just going to be a simple, well, we can walk to the laundromat. That's like right here. Yeah. And we walked over there and there's a sign on there that says, sorry for the inconvenience, but we had an electrical fire <laughs> and we're closed now. Uh, I, I th- weirdly, this might be going around because uh, I think I've got you beat. I had a launder laundromat like uh, two blocks away. <laughs> I've been there numerous times to do my laundry. Uh, so basically, what I, why I had to go to the laundromat the other day because I texted you because you came up with this idea, and then I had to go to the laundromat. I'm like, hey, perfect! Right. I'm gonna sit there and collect stories. Ironically, when you're you interviewed all the people that were there, <laughs> when you're doing that, when you're like, wow, this is the perfect chance. It's like nothing fucking happens. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because generally nothing happens at the laundromat. People don't seem to really talk to each other. It's a quiet place. That's. Well, interesting because at the laundromat that we went to it seemed like it was a big like community deal oh, like okay. oh we're at the laundromat together like uh, not that, 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 with that. us because we were strangers it seemed like maybe they had maybe they knew each other from around or maybe they just happened to always go do laundry at the same time every week Probably. i don't know yeah but uh yeah it did seem like there was a lot of socializing at this laundromat well shit you got to get in on that. Uh, it, it was my dog vomited on my down comforter. I woke up and I could smell it. And that sucks. <laughs> yeah. And down comforters suck to clean. I had read before because I something I was just like, oh, my allergies were fucking crazy. I was convinced it was the comforter. I'm like, I got to wash this thing. You're supposed to wash it, you know, but. They're very hard to wash because as soon as they're wet, they're like 30, 40 pounds. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've made that mistake initially. Like, maybe I could take it to the dryer. It's like, fuck. This is just a like soaking wet bowling ball. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and a lot of they don't always fit well in uh washing and drying machines well and you're not supposed to put them in a lot of washer and dryers they'll just break yeah. them they'll just yeah blah, 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 blah. um so i at that time the first time i just decided to wash it in the bathtub and hang it to dry uh i had some uh light stands <laughs> just propped it on top uh maybe a c stand in the back hold up a corner uh and then, I don't know, I, I think because of that, I had it in my head that, like, this is dangerous behavior. 
but I knew like laundromats should be able to do that. They got the bigger machines. Uh, yeah. So I, I brought it down to the laundromat and it was like for all my like, oh, it was like 100% fine. Right? <laughs> they just had used the high power machine, didn't phase it, came out fresh and lovely and moved it to the high power dryer, didn't phase it. I'm like, oh, I got to come here more often. <laughs> my kind of shit. Um, I found on this trip for me, this was a relaxing experience, a relaxing escape, uh, from my day. Interesting. Similar to auto dealerships. Um, yeah. Cause I was like, it's nice having something that like, it's like having an appointment. Like you got to go to the doctor, except you don't have to go to the doctor. You just got to go sit somewhere for an hour or two. <laughs> <laughs> I brought a book. Uh, it was nice. Uh, so, was or was that not your experience? No, I did not feel relaxed. Damn. I didn't feel not relaxed either, but I don't know. It. I've just played games on my phone for a little over an hour. Yeah. Um but you know there wasn't uh much air conditioning in this laundromat so it was Same. a little a little sweaty yeah um and also like i'm very uh and i th- i think that you're probably like this too <laughs> where we're just very like this is i'm going to try and use as little space as possible sure yeah um uh, we were doing we had four loads of laundry to do so we tried to, you know, keep that all together, both uh, with the washing machines and with the dryers. Just try and this is our little section and then we'll move it all over there and that'll be our little section. <laughs> uh, but other people did not seem to uh, do that, <laughs> especially with the dryers. It was like a big wall of dryers. Right. And we, you know, had four that were all kind of together. And some people had, like, some over here in this corner, some down on this row, and some up here. It's like, what are you you doing? Interesting. Why? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. That's fascinating. (laughs) Yeah. Just getting a walk-in, maybe? Maybe. There's steps. Counting steps. Do you uh, fold your laundry at the laundromat, or do you wait to take it home? I like folding my laundry at the laundromat uh because when i'm home it's like you like to show off your clothes oh yeah Yeah. i got good style check it out everybody here's my solid color burgundy shirt here's my solid color gold shirt (laughs) (laughs) they just got it's just big old folding stations like that's where i'd take up space you just dump all my dry clothes over there fold it up I, it's it's weird how much more I enjoy doing laundry there, but so that that does I have to make a call. There is as expensive as my laundry is here. That laundromat ended up being a dollar more. Now that might have been because I was using the bigger machines, but I'm like yeah, even be. assuming uh, the regular machines, if it were a dollar more. Is that worth it? Because the convenience of using the machines in my apartment, much faster, easier. And I can leave and go back into my apartment and do whatever I want. But if I enjoyed myself that much, (laughs) just kind of sitting around, I had some, I was standing outside most of the time and underneath the shade of it, it was actually pretty nice out there. I don't know. Is it worth saving a buck? Because that's the other thing. I can use pay range. I don't. I don't ever have to get quarters again if I don't want. Yeah, and I don't want. Yeah, I, I just don't be want either. At people, it's such an extra step to have to go get quarters. I hate it. <laughs> but it's weird because it also feels like such an extra step. Yeah, to pack up the laundry and go to a laundromat. It. 
does. I don't. I can't explain it. That all feels more productive to me. And huh. Yeah. I don't know. I can't explain uh, myself, and I won't. You mentioned uh, leaving as your laundry is being done. Uh, have you ever come back and your laundry has been taken out of the machine and now it's just sitting bunched up on top of a washer dryer because somebody else is using it? You mean in the and building? In, in the building? building yeah, in yeah, the building. I'm not leaving in the a laundromat. building. Yeah, the laundromat, I I don't think that that... Uh, then yes, of course. Okay. Uh, yeah. I've also done it to other people. <laughs> yeah. I It always used to bug me. I don't know if that's the right word. That combo of like... That, that ever fragile combo of like... <laughs> I... This makes me feel bad because I didn't get my laundry fast enough and then that energy turns into anger like well fuck that person yep. <laughs> and it's absolutely uncalled for because again i've been the person on the other end of it i'm like you know what i gotta do my laundry at some point <laughs> and i'll just move their move their clothes i am um... guilty, guilty boy yeah, I mean, I definitely feel the 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 guilt to anger when it's my <laughs> clothes that have been moved, but I also feel the like anxiety of moving someone else's totally. clothes. Totally. Because like, what if they come in here? I know. That and they were so they weird. were like just about to get their clothes, and I've started moving them, yeah. even though I've given them plenty of time. Because like, if if what usually happens uh, is like. I go to use a washing machine and there's clothes that have been washed that they're, they're damp as all heck mm-hmm. uh, that need to get moved to the dryer. Yeah. Right. Or I've just washed my clothes and there's clothes that have been dry in the dryer for a long time. Right. Uh, those are the two, the two examples of what I'm talking about. I hate that you but know. I, <clears throat> so I gotta. I I don't want to put somebody else's clothes into the dryer, and I don't know why, but I don't want to do it. Yeah. Um. And when they're in the dryer, I, it's like a it's a rush job for me. When I finally decide that I've waited long enough, I've come back to check, multi over a long enough time, that like I gotta get in here. <laughs> move their stuff put my stuff in close the door oh, start yeah. the thing get out of there get out of there it's highway robbery yeah exactly get in and get out uh yeah no I, I also am for the most part uncomfortable with moving the wet clothes to the dryer because yeah. that i feel unless something is like there's an emergency i need this cleaned asap uh, then I guess I would do that, but otherwise, there's usually not a rush on me doing my laundry. So I'll, like, yeah. All right, I'll they'll come get it eventually. But yeah, dry clothes. Uh, that's going to the top of the laundry machine. Uh, but I agree. There, yeah, it's like two two sides of it. Like someone <laughs> someone sees me moving their laundry, and they have the the shame to anger uh curve <laughs> yeah shanger shanger i'm feeling shangry shangry <laughs> uh, yeah yeah go from shame to hunger and your hung- hunger <laughs> i was gonna make shame that joke, to hunger but i said hunger hungry anyways shame to anger and you're hungry ha 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 somebody stop me (laughs) please somebody stop me (laughs) oh smoking (laughs) Uh, it is a spicy meatball oh man Um, uh, no what I was going to say is the other side of it is just like I don't know there's something weird about (laughs) <laughs> touching other people's clothes <laughs> yeah and someone it just feels like very i don't know invasive 
Yeah, and I feel like no matter what, when they walk into the room and I'm mid moving their clothes, there's yeah. no way I'm not holding like the most embarrassing piece of their clothing. You know, yeah. I refuse to believe that the the universe would work any other way. On a, an affliction T-shirt. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, who's, who's that guy? No, the Eddie. 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 Who am I thinking of? Those I don't shirts. know. Mm, this is important. What do you e- think comes Eddie up if I Google who shitty wears shirts? shirts? <laughs> no, that's the name of a company. Oh, shitty shirts. <laughs> Eddie. Ed Hardy is that what you uh, Yes, Ed Hardy. That's what okay. Ah. Worthwhile. I don't nah. know if I've told this story before, but I have witnessed someone else go on that shame to anger path. Ooh. And this was in college in my freshman dorm, uh, Wilson Hall. <laughs> um, Shout it out. <laughs> and uh, uh, I was doing my laundry and it was... Uh, it was my clothes were in the washing machine. They'd been washed. Somebody else still had their clothes in the dryer. The dryer had been done for a while. And so I went back to my dorm, you know, probably played video games for another 20 to 30 minutes, came back to check, and they're still in the dryer. The worst. And now my concern is also that somebody else is going to have to do laundry. Mm hmm. They're going to take my clothes out to put theirs in. And then mine are just going to be stuck there. Yeah. So real quick, I try to get away with the highway rock. And uh, I put the, I take their clothes out. There's like a little table in there. So I put them on the table. I put my clothes in the dryer. And as I'm going to, uh, to start the cycle, well, this guy comes in. And this guy is tall. Uh, he's jacked and he's angry. <laughs> um, and he sees that his clothes have been taken out. He doesn't really look at me at all, but he sees his clothes are out of the dryer and he goes, God damn it. Oh, and he no. turns the door to the laundry room is like a, a wood door. With a little window in it. A little, okay. a little square window. And my guy punches that window, shatters the glass, and walks away. What the fuck? Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah. I so, mean, that's on him. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. But it definitely fuck. gives me some residual anxiety about that'll give you public laundry spaces what the fuck yeah that's baffling yeah and like i don't even know if he thought it was me that did it 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 wasn't even like i was in the room really it was just like (laughs) he saw where his clothes were and they were not where he left them if he did that broke the window but then turned around <laughs> and asked if you did it. Would you admit to it? Uh, that's a great question. Because it's like, out a how? They, they yeah. went that way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They just, they repelled out the window. Um, they're in the vents. Um, yeah, that's a good question. Because I don't know. Because it seems like, how could it be anyone other than right? Me? Right. <laughs> But would I still try to lie? Yeah. Maybe. You don't know, you don't, you don't know until you're there. Your adrenaline's yeah. probably rushing. Yeah. Um, and we've been over before that you and I both like to lie. So. <laughs> that's a, as good a time as any. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. Uh, yeah. It's like I I like the idea of trying to diffuse the situation. <laughs> I yeah. don't think I'm a... Uh, a good uh, hostage negotiator, particularly. Yeah, I'll be like, I'll hostage. help you look for them. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, ah, 
yeah, that's. Yeah, like, oh, I'd remember them if I saw them. So let's look around real quick. <laughs> you don't know, because both of us will agree to having that reaction internally. Yes. But not doing that. Uh, doing no. that I means this is a aggressive, potentially, not even potentially, obviously violent person. Yeah. <laughs> and so the question would be, if he knew it was you, would he be embarrassed for reacting that way? Or is he the type of person that if he knew it was you, he'd punch you in the face like a window? I try feel to squeeze like... you through that tiny window like the end of Nightmare oh, on Elm Street. Oh, yeah, try and squeeze me through there. <laughs> uh, yeah, I feel like it's the second one. <laughs> I feel like he would react violently towards the culprit. Oh, man. Well, yeah, good thing you weren't noticed. <laughs> yeah, my one of my best qualities. <laughs> so, yeah, what's the came in handy? Animals that can uh, camouflage themselves. Chameleon. Yeah, I guess chameleon is that octopus. for octopus. That's for protection. Now that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> now that's for protection. Now that's right. Because I, th- I think the chameleons are just doing it so they aren't seen and then they can eat shit. Yeah, I think there's a level of that for octop- octopi as well, I think. Have you ever tried or some of those other that? deep fee fish? Deep fees? Oh. Deep, yeah, the deep V's. <laughs> the deep V fish? Oh, God. Um, have you ever tried? Because obviously you've got this skill. Uh, yeah. When a predator is coming, you become invisible. <laughs> have you ever tried just I... doing that next to someone that's eating and being a chameleon and then getting some free food? You know, the closest is... At a friend's an birthday party, <laughs> uh, we were playing hide and seek, and I there just weren't like good hiding spots, you know. Yeah. Everybody else had taken them already. Ugh, the worst. And there was a vacuum that was out, like a stand up vacuum in the in one of the rooms. And I was happened to be wearing a shirt that was <laughs> similar color. <laughs> And so I just like up against the vacuum, I like put the cord around like <laughs> my chest because it was hanging there. And then there was a hat that was on the like handle. So I put the hat on my head and I just kind of like sat there to see if I would be noticed. And I was, but it was like, it was a du- it was a double take situation. <laughs> it was like a, wait a second. That's amazing. Uh, so that's as close as I've gotten to becoming invisible. I like that. Um, that, I don't know about you, for me, I would love to do an episode about hiding. <laughs> 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 I feel like I have a lot to say on the subject. <laughs> well, I, I'm on board. All right. All right. Not this episode. <laughs> Yeah, we're already, we're already forty some minutes in. It's yeah, weird to start over now. <laughs> Have you ever washed and or dried something that uh, either the colors ran and uh, affected the other clothes in the load, or you washed something that shrank quite a bit? I hmm. I don't. I haven't really had the issue of stuff shrinking on me, and that's probably because for most of my life I wore way too big of clothes, so <laughs> shrinking was a good thing. Yeah. Um, the biggest damage. I mean, a you know, not to get on a high horse here, but fast fashion. You know, me and all my Target shirts. Those will just right. slowly dissolve away <laughs> in the wash. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. And a good reminder, like I should probably spend money on clothes <laughs> that's a reason this is seven dollars i should re- replace this solid color t-shirt with another solid color yeah. t-shirt um but i also had um i can't think of the fabric there's a type of fabric 
that I don't know if it's even like a thing anymore, but it was very popular when I was uh, in high school, middle school, no, more middle school. And I had a shirt that was a, this was a big old style choice on me, on anybody, but particularly on me. This was a shirt with a logo on it, three quarter length sleeves. Ooh, that was a wild adjustment, but I liked yeah. the company and wanted to rep it. I was yeah, like, this okay. is cool. This is in my teen years, so I was a skater. This was a skate. Do you remember the company? In this, it, it was it's a clothing company. Uh, Jamie Thomas, who's a pro skateboarder that I used to be a huge fan of, uh, started. And so it's like a little red circle with a, like a dove flying through it or something like that. And I was like, I think that's cool as shit. I want it. And it was like okay. a baseball shirt. So like the sleeves were a different color. But yeah, right. three quarter length. So they just stop at the like the shin of the arm. That's forearm. so bizarre. That's the word I was looking for. <laughs> no, the shin of the arm the is arm correct. Shins. Uh, yeah, it was very, very strange. Uh, but apparently a style people have worn and maybe still wear uh but that those sleeves like first wash just curled and got all fucked up looking and it was just never the same and so like three quarter length sleeves felt like hey okay i i i feel weird but yeah this is a style somewhere and then the sleeves started getting all fucked up and rolling up and then it was like I don't know what's what were we three quarter five eighths <laughs> a five eighths sleeve. Yeah. That's nobody's style. <laughs> Nobody wants that. No, nobody wants a five eighths sleeve. Now I'm not fitting in anywhere. I'm uh, my own little I don't know fashion failure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so that was my big. I have had uh, other white shirts turn pink. I have had that happen. I've lost some socks. I wasn't joking about losing socks. I lose socks all the goddamn time. Yeah, I used Don't to u- lose socks a lot. I feel like it hasn't happened as much in a while, but I u- feel like I used to lose them a lot. I'll still uh, lose them left and right. Left and right. <laughs> yeah. Ha ha. Ha Have you ever. <laughs> Never eaten a Tide it. Pod? Uh, no. Yeah, me neither. Hmm. Should we? Should we? <laughs> Good way to close the app. I don't have any. Yeah. I don't have any Tide Pods. I have the, like... I forget what the other... What my detergent is called. It's like All, maybe? All. Maybe it's that's, called All. I think yeah. that's what I use also. Except all. So. The white one the uh fragrance free because i'm a little allergic boy who has eczema yeah fabrics f- fabrics <laughs> fragrances fuck me up like everything in my life is trying to kill me <laughs> uh does the trick though you know you wash your clothes get some soap yeah yeah i did a uh, this was a, a little laundry adventure recently i washed my hats that was exciting. Oh, yeah. I didn't realize that most baseball caps you could put in the laundry. And it came out yeah. shiny and new. I have uh, one hat that I wear sometimes. And the like the adjuster in the back yeah. is uh, is Velcro. It's not a like, you know, little puncture Snap. thing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, and you got to be careful when you wash it because you have to, before you put it in there, you've got to like tighten the adjustment so no Velcro is showing. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, it'll stick to your clothes and then kind of rip some threads out as they jostle around oh, fuck. in the wash and the dryer. Uh, so uh, if you have any hats with Velcro and I for do. some reason you've gone this whole time, washing them and being like why does this keep happening why? the solution is to cover up the velcro <laughs> hmm, i'll consider it okay yeah you still always just wash them by hands and then i also at the laundromat i saw someone washing a bunch of shoes 
Can you do Certain that shoes too? you can put in the cool. the washer and dryer. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna wash some of these shoes. That's another one. I'll, that's just I don't uh, wash that's my something shoes that I'm often, like. But yeah, I me will, neither. I've, I'll do it by hand, and it sucks. I'm a, it's hard. <laughs> yeah, I'm afraid to uh, wash my shoes in a machine and just hear them thumping around in there. <laughs> these are all things I would be backwards. This is this is where the social anxiety fucks life up, period. Is I would be way more likely to try that if I had a laundry machine. Like I had a house. You know, like a rental. I'm renting a house and there was laundry on site. Because then I'm in control. Even if it's yeah. like, it goes haywire! Soap's flying everywhere! The machine is broken. I'm there? <laughs> There's nobody else that's gonna be like, you idiot! <laughs> I can't right. handle someone calling me an idiot. No. Uh, and realistically, much more likely to break the machine at a rental house than if I went to the laundromat. <laughs> but then I'd be surrounded by people. And I I just see myself like, even though I saw someone else do it, I see myself putting one shoe in the machine and someone, the lifeguard from the last episode, coming out and yelling at me and saying, no shoes. Right. My parents didn't yell at me a lot. I don't know what this anxiety is about being yelled at. <laughs> I really don't. Maybe that was it. Maybe I wasn't yelled at enough. Yell at me. That's what it is. Parents, yell at, yell your, at your children kids. more. Come on. Yell at them. Go, uh, what's, what harm is it going to do? Yeah. They'll be ready. People are going to yell at them eventually. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to. That's my plug at the end of the episode. I'll yell at your kids for you. Then you get to be the good guy, and I get to, you know, <laughs> yell at some kids. And you get to, yeah, you get to do what you've always wanted to do. Ah, uh, yes. Yell at children. Yeah. Grow faster. <laughs> Grow faster. <laughs> Why are you so small? <laughs> That's a great question. Uh, thank you. <sighs> Did we clean this load? <laughs> <laughs> I hate the way that sounded. Get your mind out of the gutter. I don't know why where you're losing all these socks. <laughs> you know, it's interesting that, that that's where your mind went because mine <laughs> went more towards pooping. Oh, we have different... a different type of load. Oh, you could use the word load for so many different things. Underappreciated. Yeah. Underappreci- underappreciated word of the day mm, load. load but uh, throw it into conversation uh, in your life out there today <laughs> load it into conversation yes mm. <laughs> maybe that's what my plug is at the end of the episode is the word load <laughs> let's do a, let's start doing a sesame street type deal <laughs> we, we, this episode was brought to you by the word load uh, with our special guest, Alec Baldwin. <laughs> <laughs> right, I get it. I get I what you're doing, Evan. I get it. I don't like this word of the day. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I did it. I because took, guns. I, I took the, him down for a peg. The, the listener. I took him down a peg. He was riding on a yeah. high horse. Well, yeah, and I don't Western. think he was on the horse. <laughs> I don't think so either. Somebody died. Um. <laughs> yeah, a person died, and uh, this it was due to the um, negligence of the Hollywood system. Fuck yeah! Uh, I shouldn't joke, but I did. So sue me, please. Don't sue me. Don't do the don't don't do that. Oh, no. Um. Yeah, I don't know. Did we learn anything about laundry? No. <laughs> I, I, hey be like me not like mike be like me uh and find find the calm <laughs> the meditative peace at the laundromat instead of i mean it could still be michael jordan shoes you know like like mike but you're washing them yeah that's my like mike yeah <laughs> um yeah i that the plot of that movie is so wild. I never saw it. I just saw the trailer a billion times, and it was like very popular when it came out. So like everyone I knew had seen it. So I I got the gist. It's just that he like 
does he specifically get Michael Jordan's shoes or is it just a random pair of Jordans? <laughs> oh, that's a good question. I don't mm. remember. Honestly, the mm. one of the only things I remember okay. is that it had um, the kid that played Beans in uh, mm. Even Stevens. Lil Bow Wow. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was not. I mean, Lil Bow Wow was in this movie, but no, I Lil Bow Wow was not Beans. Lil I Bow Wow, no Beans. beans. No, apparently okay. Jonathan Lipnicki was also in it. Oh, that makes sense. And Brenda Song. There's all sorts of Crispin Glover, <laughs> Robert Forster, <laughs> Eugene Levy. This is an all-star, an all-star cast. cast. Jesus. <laughs> Do we have to? Do you have to watch for the first time, and I have to rewatch Like a Mike? I mean, it's possible. It is possible. Who's the main adult in Like Mike? Is it Martin Lawrence? I don't know why I picture Morris Martin Lawrence. Chestnut. Okay. I know the name. I can't place him. Where do I know you from? Nobody. Oh, he's been in a bunch of stuff. Uh, yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> that is true. A 13-year-old orphan becomes an NBA player after trying on a pair of sneakers with the faded initials MJ inside of them. Uh-huh. So they were his shoes. So this is a whole movie theorizing that Michael Jordan sucks. <laughs> he just had <laughs> magical <laughs> shoes. Yeah. That explains it. I wonder what uh movie I'm thinking of with Martin Short. What? Or not Martin Short. I'm thinking of Martin Lawrence. The what am I thinking of with Martin Lawrence? Blue streak. Yeah, it could be. <laughs> a, uh, oh, Black Knight? Was that a movie? Is that the name of that movie? I'm thinking of the movie Rebound. Oh, I don't even know that. Uh, that might be... Maybe I never even saw Like Mike. Maybe I saw <laughs> Rebound. <laughs> say, that feels like something I would have seen. Oh, sure. Yeah. I've seen the cover. It is Rebound, because that's the movie with Beans in it. Okay, Beans that isn't makes in sense. the other one. I don't know why this is how my mind worked, but I, le- I legitimately, as soon as I saw Jonathan Lipnick, he was in that one, I'm like, Beans can't be in this. Be- Beans <laughs> Those two can't be, be in, in the same movie. <laughs> It'd be too powerful. That's too much. Too much to handle. Uh, another, <laughs> another all-star cast. Is this, oh, a, yeah, is this sure. a bracket we've got warming up here? <laughs> sports movies primarily starring children. Ooh, how about magical sports movies? <laughs> Magic sports movies. Was Rebound magical? Uh, I'm going to say I mean, was. other than just the experience of uh, seeing it on the big screen. Uh, it was box office magic. <laughs> was it an acclaimed college basketball coach is demoted to a junior varsity team after a public meltdown <laughs> yeah i remember that uh, beans was in rebound and kicking and screaming two child sports movies in the same year wow wow <laughs> wow steven pretty Anthony incredible Lawrence. stuff what can't you do it always makes me sad when <laughs> let me check first is he now he is still acting <laughs> it makes me sad when their imdb picture is still them as a little kid <laughs> yeah i mean I'm it's pretty sure you're he's... 30 <laughs> you can say he's still acting but on wikipedia at least his most recent credit is 2014 ah uh, imdb has him in 2020 nice and two upcoming projects good for you steven anthony lawrence Hmm. Is it time to wrap this episode up? I think so. <laughs> I like the idea of magic, magical sports movies bracket. <laughs> what was this? Space Jam, of course, number one seed. Oh, yeah, that's... Whoa! Oh, man. All right, so... <laughs> anybody out there, because I, I don't have the power to throw this out to you, uh, but you got to look up what Stephen Anthony Lawrence looks like now. If you knew who Beans was, if you watched Even Stevens when you were a kid, he looks exactly like you would have expected him to grow up, but it's still wild to see. <laughs> oh, yeah, I see. I see. He should play 
Wallace Shawn's, Wallace Shawn's <laughs> relative. <laughs> that is, and I'm sure he knows it, but he's just like, no, I'm not going to do it. It's not true. But it's like, it is true. You look, you look like Wallace Shawn's son and you two yeah. need to do a movie together and it'll be yep. cute. My dinner with beans. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a new uh, screenwriting competition called My Dinner with Beans. <laughs> My Dinner with the, Beans. The uh, the actor he's not mentioned, so you know it's up to the interpretation. Write a movie that's called My Dinner with Beans, <laughs> <laughs> and I would gladly read every submission. Oh yeah, absolutely. that would be fascinating. I want to see the different <laughs> directions a movie's titled "My Dinner with Beans" could go. <laughs> yeah, one hundred percent. Uh man, too many good plugs here, and my actual too, plug too is many. nothing. Uh, so yeah. maybe I'll just leave it at that. But uh, you're listening to How Do We Human? You did laundry with us, and the ding ding happened, and you fold folded and hopped in your car and went back home. Uh, only to realize that you then had to still get the clothes out of the thing and they became unfolded and you had to fold them again. Um, regardless, the podcast's over, so deal with it. Uh, but you can listen to the <laughs> next one or old ones. We got a shit ton of them. And you can listen to us on Apple Podcasts. You can listen to us on Spotify. You can listen to us on Pocket Cast, <laughs> Amazon Music, anywhere you get your podcast. Your pod. <laughs> Anywhere you get your pod. Anywhere you get your pod. <laughs> you can find us. <laughs> we'll be there. Uh, uh, Listen uh, up. Uh, Seth Rogen joined the call. Uh, 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 this uh, podcast is amazing. Oh, well, that's pretty good. Thanks. Hey, I, I really, I really want to be able to do a Seth Rogen <laughs> impression. I, I did it once in a, an improv class, and I thought it was bad. And someone was like, "That was really good." And I was like, "Oh, <laughs> cool." <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, you can also find us on social media. We'd love it if you did. Also, leave us the ratings and the reviews. Never forget that we fucking need them. We need them. We're drowning. We need them. Help us. We need to stay afloat. Uh, podcasts have become oversaturated, the market, uh, and we we got to get seen. We got to get that. Be our know? little floaties. Be our little floaters. <laughs> Load up our podcast with reviews and ratings. <laughs> uh, you, you know what? Maybe don't listen to us. <laughs> You can find us on social media. Find us on Instagram at How Do We Human. We got that handle. You can find us on Twitter at How Do We Human Pod. Ooh, we tweet those tweets. You can even find us on Facebook uh, at How Do We Human. Oh, I can't wait to join Meta. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the voice of the? That's uh, my Mark Zuckerberg the impression. The Mark Zuckerberg's Meta little yeah. cartoon guy. That's definitely yeah. Good he sounded like um <laughs> and you can also send us an email and we'd love it if you did uh you can send us an email at how do we human pod at gmail.com the best part of that handle is that it's on email we did get an email here uh it says, oh Hi there. yes uh we wanted to let you know that there appears to be third-party content in your podcast and additional information is needed to continue uninterrupted playback please review the episodes within 72 hours to avoid potential episode removal mm. well not my favorite email guys not my favorite email i hope Step somebody sends us a better one that's where the yeah. bar is right now yeah 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 no, that's not the bar. The bar was the... Uh, the bingo? Uh, yeah, bingo. Good job, Jordan. Oh, man. I know we're not going to pull this as a video clip, but I wish everyone could have seen what Evan used to, to, dis to visually describe bingo to me. This is a Harry Potter spell. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're like ribbon dancing. Uh, Wingardium Chris. bingiosa. <laughs> <laughs> what you got going on <laughs> hey this is something i might have uh plugged before because Great. this is uh you, you know uh, uh 
uh, you and I, we both have so many side businesses that it's hard to remember what we might have plugged. And this one certainly seems like one of my lazier ones. But uh, <laughs> at some point, uh, James Corden uh, will no longer be doing the right. Late Late Show. So let me do it, baby. Yep. I can do all those same things that he does. Mm-hmm. I can do sketches where I pretend everybody, quote unquote, pretend everybody on the crew of the show hates me. Um, and that I'm a big old diva <laughs> and I can tell every single, uh, actor that comes on, we have to congratulate you about your new project. Tell us what it's about and who do you play? Yeah. I can do that. It's pretty good. Thank you. But Evan, do you have an English accent? Oh, don't know. You tell me. Or do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Okay, I'm thinking though, like we gotta future, future sense this because. Um, okay. <laughs> Craig Ferguson. You you want Reggie's spot? Is, I'm is saying Craig Ferguson is Scottish, James Corden English. Yeah. What's next? Put them together. <laughs> what do you get? Bippity boppity boo. <laughs> That's correct. <laughs> The is the Wicked Witch from <laughs> the Wicked Witch from Cinderella. That's her name. Uh, this is oh, fun. you mean the fairy godmother? Naturally, that's how some <laughs> you're, see you're her. afraid of them. You consider them to be witches. Yeah. Do you have anything you'd like to plug in? <laughs> uh, just uh, the idea of a machine where you can swipe <laughs> a just car. Just it there. Just, just the a idea machine. Of a machine. <laughs> Not even the machine, just the idea of it. Just the idea of a machine. You know? Uh, now you swipe a card and you can get quarters out. I like it. That's it. That, yeah. We have every other variation of money getting technology. And I've never seen a situation where I could swipe a card and get some quarters. I'm calling it money. Access your money. One form of money exchanged for the same currency. I love it. I, I, uh, I really don't understand why <laughs> ATMs can't give us rolls of quarters. What is the fucking deal? What is, who's, <laughs> who's involved? Is the mafia involved? Like who's strong arming the is quarters? Is the mafia involved? Is the mafia yeah, involved? they're strong arming the quarter game something's up yeah i don't like it speaking of quarters there's four of them in like mike and okay. rebound yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay bye load them up bye <laughs>